been checked and released, he's okay, but you're behind the 44, what do you see and what are you thinking? First of all, I was behind the 44. He come flying around, come up on the apron, jumps in front of me, then runs over the 51, stacks us all up, I run into him. It's just, it's idiotic to be out here doing this anyway. There's no sense in being able to, try to put on some cute show for whatever the hell this is. Then you got a guy out there in desperation doing this crap like this. I mean, it's just, there's, there's no reason to be out here. These guys have spent six months working on these cars, busting their ass on these cars to go out there and have some guy out of desperation do that crap. But it ain't his fault. It's not. It's NASCAR's fault for putting us out here in the middle of this crap for nothing. There is absolutely... We used to come down here and worry about who's going to sit on the front row in the pole for the biggest race of the year. Now all we do is come down here and worry about how a starting park like this out of desperation is going to knock us out of the Daytona 500. We've been in meetings for 45 minutes just trying to figure out what in the hell everybody's going to do just so we can make the, the race. It's stupid. There's no sense in doing this. Very frustrated driver. He will go to a backup for Thursday's dual race.